good to see you again. You're looking great today, that's for show. Tyler here again, and I'm gonna teach you how to do the order of operations, okay? Order of operations is something you're gonna use in any secondary math class from here on out, okay? It's just something you need to know to solve equations. Anytime you wanna solve for X or evaluate or simplify, anything like that, you got to know your orders of operations, okay? So, here we go. This is the thing you'll always hear people say. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Okay, this is the order in which you need to work an equation, okay? Certain things are more important than other things, okay? It's not like life where everybody gets a participation ribbon. This is like math where things are more important than other things, okay? The P stands for parentheses. I wrote it crummy because I'm not sure how to spell it because I'm not a very smart person. And you're still watching, so thank you. All right, E is for X, I don't know why I did that. Exponents, which means like little things up there, the little number up there in the, where the degree sign would be. Um, it's like when you have a regular number, like 12 to the X power. Okay, that marker is not great. Okay, something to the X power. Um, then you got M is your, from here on down, is your regular multiplication. Multiply, divide. Those two are equally important, okay? They just really depend on um, which one comes first in progression from left to right, just like you're reading a book, okay? And then addition and subtraction. I don't know why I capitalized ADD. <laughs> I wonder why. Subtraction. Okay, so addition, subtraction, multiply, and divide, and then parentheses, exponents. There are really three tiers. Most important, second most, third, fourth, okay? I say third and fourth because I can group these together based on where they go, okay? So let's look at it. Let's look at a problem. So say you've got um, two, five minus three squared plus 10. Okay, and then just do two minus. Okay, 12 minus, so it's different. Okay, so we got this equation right here. All right, first thing I'm gonna look for are parentheses, okay, because my rule is to do what's in the parentheses first. That would be this. That means I need to look at this problem by itself. Five minus three squared. It's more, most important thing in this problem is my first set of parentheses. Okay, I need to solve it as much as I can and then I can move on, okay? We got this right here. Inside the parentheses, now we essentially do this all again. Are there any more parentheses in here? No. Do we have any exponents? Yes, we've got this, so we need to do that. So five minus three squared, which would be nine, okay? Now we move down, multiply, there's no multiplication, no division, no addition, there is subtraction. Five minus nine is what? 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 5 minus 9 is negative 4. Now, I can replace all this with my negative 4. Okay, so 12 minus 2, negative 4 plus 10. Okay? I have parentheses here, but there's nothing to simplify in there. So therefore, it's no longer needed. Okay? Exponents. Do you have any exponents left? No. Multiply. I'm going to multiply going across. 12 minus, no. Now, this means multiply. Anytime you have parentheses right next to something else, it's essentially the same multiply. Just like 2x would be 2 times x, this is negative 2 times negative 4. So negative 2 times negative 4 makes a positive 8. Is there anything else to multiply? No. Is there anything else to divide? No. Is there anything to add? Yippers. 12 plus 8 is 20. And then we just keep going from left to right. 20 plus 10 is 30. Is there anything else left? Sorry, subtraction, you don't get included. And that's the order of operations, okay? Sweet. What up? Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it, I sincerely mean that. My heart right here means that, okay? Um, if it helped, I really appreciate you checking out some of the stuff I got on the internet. 
My website's tylertarver.com. Got links to a bunch of math videos and a bunch of other stuff I do on the internet. Um, if you are on the internet right now, you can click on this and it'll take you to my math channel. Um, and then you can subscribe, I really appreciate it. If you click on this one, I really appreciate that too, because that takes you to my other channel that has math videos, but it's also got some other videos that I do that I think are fun that might not be fun that you might hear about. Okay. Um, if not, if you're on like a mobile phone or on a tablet or something, you probably can't click straight on the video. Um, just go into the comment section or the description section of the comments. Don't ever go to the comment section, but go to the description section. Um, check me out on Instagram. Um, I don't have trouble bird. It's a Twitter. Check me out on Twitter and Facebook if you want. I'm just at Tyler Tarver. Okay, or you just search my name and you'll find it. I really appreciate it. I've also done a um, two easy examples. Two medium examples. I did two hard examples, and then I just taught the lesson. If you go to the links in the uh, in the description, I've also got links to all those videos. If you need more help, really appreciate it. You look amazing today. What? What?